Hello guys, uh, welcome to the CSTRO and in this uh, physics lecture on a special theory of relativity in which I am going to teach you about the length contraction that's happened uh, owing to the Lorentz transformation equations. So basically the length contraction means when there is a relative motion between two inertial frame of references then they will measure the length uh, of an object differently. So let's see how to arrive at this remarkable concept in a special relativity that why length contracts along the direction of motions of the object. In order to derive the length contraction equations, uh, you in we need to set up a, a benchmark for this derivation. So what we do, we have two frame. You can see that we have S and S prime, two frames, and these are these are called inertial frames. So these are inertial frames. Means they are either at rest or moving with constant velocity with respect to each other and they have their origin O and O prime and this S prime is moving with velocity V velocity V in positive x directions and we have a length uh, say rod uh, rod of length L naught uh, AB in S prime frame okay which is at rest with respect to a s prime so l not equal to called rest length in s prime frame s prime frame so what will be say length l equal to what in s frame so this we want to so this we want to uh, measure from s frame perspective some equations okay so you can recall lorentz equations okay so how to recall you can relate positions of a and B. So you can say that in S frame we have A coordinate equal to x1 prime then t1 prime and then B equal to say x2 prime and t2 prime. Similarly this would be S prime and so similarly for S you can tell it so A has coordinate uh, x1 then t1 and then B has coordinate say x2 and t2 okay so up to that we are okay now so connect from S to S prime frame uh, for a uh, say at at end A we have say uh, x1 prime equal to gamma or you can write like this x1 prime equal to gamma x1 minus v v t1 and call it as equation 1 similarly you can write for x2 prime equal to gamma then 
एक्स टू माइनस भी टी टू सो दिस इक्वेशन बिकम्स इक्वेशन टू नाउ व्हाट टू डू यू टेक डिफरेंस ऑफ सेकेंड माइनस वन ओके सो व्हाट इट विल गिव इट विल गिव एक्स टू प्राइम माइनस एक्स वन प्राइम इक्वल टू गामा एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन देन माइनस भी टी टू माइनस टी वन ओके सो दिस बिकम्स इक्वेशन थर्ड नाउ comes that how to measure length uh, of a moving object okay so suppose you want to measure the length okay so you have to look both end of the rod at same time t and t so you can say t1 and t2 and this um uh, this t2 minus t1 should be zero okay so this term will goes to zero to measure Length in moving frame. Okay, so what will be left? Okay, so we have left with x two minus x one prime equal to gamma x two minus x one. Okay, so already we have x two minus x one prime equal to l naught and gamma l. Okay, so this be becomes your Equation of the length contractions. Okay, so you can write it more generally. You have write L equal to L naught by gamma. Okay, or maybe you can write here L moving or L rest. Okay, so you can write more elegantly here. L moving equal to L naught divided by one minus v square by c square. Okay, so from here you can see that as v increases, v increases. Okay, then L decreases. This means that. so which implies that implies that length of an objects gets contracted in direction of motion but not perpendicular to the motion okay so this is your like very uh, big result so here you can see that we have l moving equal to l not rest divided by under 1 minus v square by c square so you can see that if v less than less than c so what it can implies that we have l moving equal to l rest okay so basically this is your classical physics this is your classical physics and if l if if uh, b comparable to c then l moving less than l not
so basically this means that at very low speed the lens remains almost same but at higher speed the lens gets contracted so you can also plot the graph if you want you can make it say v by c or you can call it beta or you can move l okay so at v equal to c the length the length gets zero and at the v equal to 3 by 2 c it's get almost half okay so you can plot a graph if it is l not then the curve goes like that and at it becomes zero at v equal to c this way you can do the plotting and you can tell that the length contracts in a special theory of relativity so thank you